All right guys, Paul Martin Belts back here again with a brand new video. This is going to be a detailed review of a real winged eagle belt. As you can see, this winged eagle is dual plated, which means it's nickel and gold plates. This belt was a collaboration between Mike Nicolo and Dave Milliken, I believe. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. Mike Nicolo's stamp is on the leather, but I'm led to believe that Dave Milliken provided and dual plated the plates. I'm not 100% sure on that, so we'll just call it a collaboration between two. Uh, again, if I'm wrong, I apologize. Yeah, so let's just get started. We'll start off with the leather. So, right again, like I said, Mike Nicolo's stamp is in the leather. So as you can see here, crafted by Mike Nicolo. And that's his signature there. So you can see the tooling in the leather is the classic Midwest style snap box. If you can see in the center of the snap box, it does say WWE licensed replica. So that's just to kind of prove its legal authenticity that this belt was approved and licensed by WWE. As you can see, the 2x8 male snap box here in a sort of Midwest style tooling. Pretty much the style you would expect to see on a winged eagle. I think Mike pretty much based it off of the tooling that was styled and used on the original belt. So as you can see again, snap box here with the gold tip, as you can see there. I'm sorry the plates are quite smudged and dirty. Uh, I've been handling this belt in the minutes up until filming this video. So it's gonna look quite fingerprint covered and yeah, <laughs> apologies for that. As you can see here, the logo plate, this is actually a two millimeter plate. Uh, try to get it focused, there we go. So that's a two millimeter plate and the rest of the plates are all four millimeters. This is normal, so don't be alarmed. Uh, logo plates on Midwest belts are normally always thinner plates, half thickness. And if you can see there actually, it's actually held on by only three bolts. So that was something that surprised me. I've owned a winged eagle of my own in the past and it was also held on by three bolts. Uh, I kinda, before owning them, I would have thought it had four, so probably two at the bottom two at the top, but it's two at the bottom, one at the top, as you can see there, so, which cause, which means that kind of comes up. So I'm not too sure about that. I think if it had four, it'd probably be a bit stronger because I've seen ring used ones had the logo plate broken off. Uh, it's just my, just my thinking there. Just, uh, just a thought. Uh, it's a very nice belt. I definitely recommend the winged eagle belts. I think most people are a fan of it. Uh, it's not my favorite belt. Um, but I can appreciate it's a very historic and loved belt and I can tell you the detail on it is really lovely. You can see the wrestlers on the side plates there. The dual plating is pretty nice also, as is the tooling on the leather, which I shouldn't forget to point out. Again, as the camouflage tooling top and bottom, which is traditional on most Midwest belts. Side plates on the other side are pretty much identical as the right hand side, so you can see dual plated, the wrestlers in the center of both of them, kind of the sunburst effect all around. Moving on to the center plate, as you can see the prominent eagle with its wings going over the leather, so I think that's probably the most popular style for winged eagles. I definitely know as far as re-leathering replicas uh, for myself, I get asked to do this style of leather all the time where the wings actually poke over the leather. I think it probably looks best. A few other versions, I think there was one that was really kind of circular like that. Uh, in my opinion, this is probably the best style. I think the uh, fact that the wings kind of hang over the edge of the leather looks really nice. So you can see up top, WWF logo there. World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. See the detail in the eagle's wings there. Again, wrestlers on the side of the center plate there. So again, this, this belt's currently covered in fingerprints, so apologies for that. You can see the nickel in between the sunburst there quite well. Down here, you can see which 
says, I can't actually make out what the year is. It's either 2002, maybe seven. Although it says, that's what I'm talking about here. So that year, Reggie Parks replica is what that says. I'm not sure exactly what year that is. Okay, so yeah, that being said, we'll flip the belt over, take a look at the rear of the belt. As you can see, again, nice black smooth leather uh, covering up all the, all the bolts here. You can see uh, something that people are often quite surprised at, like I mentioned even on the logo plate, is sometimes the positioning of the bolts. The winged eagle center plate is always a special one because, because of the fact it has the curved bars which have to be welded on. Uh, there's always a lot of the center plate hanging off, as you can probably see there. Good portion of the center plate that isn't bolted on. Because uh, the bars finish about here, and the last bolt's there, which is about two and a half inches, two inches, basically. Uh, in most cases for belts, that would be terrible. That would uh, mean it's very fragile. Uh, but for the Winged Eagle, it's a very small belt, so it's not actually a big deal, in my opinion. Uh, plus, the bars are welded to the plate, which kind of gives the stability around the bolts. Uh, something people probably would always remember is Bret Hart, when he folded up the belt. The edge of the plate would always uh, hang over the edge. Um, I've seen a lot of people comment that when they realized that the plates were kind of meant to be done like that. But, uh, that's how Bret Hart held it and you always remember that. Again, you can see the wings of the eagle hanging over the edge only just uh, from the back. You can see the tips of the eagle's wings. So again, 11 bolts on the center plate, which is enough really, uh, four on each side plate, which again is more than enough. Ring use belt would obviously need more, but this is a collector's belt, so yeah, really nice belt. The flexibility of the leather is really good, really quite nice. Uh, again, you can see the bars welded on there. Belt. Uh, these are becoming rare and a lot more expensive now as most of you probably know if you're in the belt community or belt collectors um, so yeah these belts are becoming quite rare I should point out this is not my belt uh, this was sent to me by a good friend of mine Andy Hastings so thank you very much Andy Andy has some does some great replica modifications restoning uh, custom real belt tips among other things so link his uh, page in the description box below so if you're interested contact him and he's a good guy and yeah this is his belt so thank you very much for Andy to Andy for sending this over again very nice belt uh, so who wants to see me turn this into a hardcore belt huh yeah I'm not gonna do that <laughs> although that'd be pretty cool Someone out there, if, if you're an idiot and got a lot of money, someone do that. It'd be a laugh. <laughs> I, I can just already picture the comments I'm getting for, for saying that. I think it would be cool. That is all I'm saying. If someone owns a real winged eagle belt, turn it into a hardcore belt. You'd get, I don't know, cool points or something. <laughs> I want to just be, be sure I don't actually mean that. I do, but don't. Definitely do it. What am I talking about? Uh, yeah, I think I've rambled on enough about this video. Too long, didn't read. Nice belt, I like it, good quality. Mike did a good job. Dave, I think, provided the plates, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, goodbye. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to do a size comparison between the Winged Eagle belt and a Big Gold, which this particular one was made by me and is for sale at the moment, if someone's interested. Comment down below or PM me or email me if you're interested. Okay, now that's out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I had the big gold down here and when I was finishing up the video, I realized why not show a comparison of the size because it's quite a big difference as you can probably see. <laughs> the big gold's kind of enormous and the Wind Eagle is a very small belt. So I think the best way to probably do this 
Lengthwise strap, the, it's not too much in it actually, if I center it up actually. There's probably an inch, if that, either side strap wise, but plate wise, you can just see the difference in the center plate there. It is a vast difference. So yeah, uh, big gold, love this one. And Winged Eagle, both very iconic belts. Again, of course, this one was made by me, so it's not an original Crumb Reiner made by the original belt maker, but it'll do for this comparison. And again, both dual plated belts, so you can kind of see the comparison there. But again, it's quite a ridiculous size difference. The Winged Eagle is a very small belt, I think most people know that. Uh, I mean, my hand length is bigger than plate. And, to the big goal that's nowhere near. <laughs> so yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of the size of the winged eagle belt, just in case you're looking to buy one, just keep that in mind. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike me and everything about me. That being said, please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming belt videos. Thank you and goodbye.